how I found the one. You guys want to make it short and sweet? I became the one. <laughs> you know? So, check it out. I am the one. I'm always going to be the one that's with me 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. So, first of all, I have to love me. I have to be happy with myself. You know? So, one day, about 10 years ago or so, I was laying in my bed and I woke up with a ring on my finger that cost about 25 bucks at Walmart. And it was a promise ring, you know? And I was thinking to myself, why am I trying to get this dude to marry me? I don't even like him, you know? I don't like him. He hits me, he cheats on me, he has babies with my best friends, you know? Um, he calls me names, he abuses me uh, spiritually, talks about my God, my family, sexually uh, rapes me, and financially he steals from me, all these things. And it's like, okay, so I don't want him. And I made a list. I was like, what do I want in a man? So I made a list. And I looked at the list with dismay in my heart. I was so sad. I was like, wow. I'm never going to get that guy because yeah, I don't have those things. You know? Like, I wanted to have somebody who's fit, healthy, someone who doesn't have mental problems, doesn't take pills for it. You know what I mean? And, and then I was thinking, well, no wonder I don't want myself. Right? And no wonder I have this guy in my life. I don't embody the things that I value and the things that I want. And so I was 200 pounds overweight. I smoked cigarettes. I was on drugs. I was in, I'm talking about weed and I'm talking about pills, you know, to get high. But I was also on pills for my mind, anxiety, PTSD and all this stuff. So long story short, fast forward to today. This is, like I said, about 10 years ago or so. And this is 2019. This is September 9, 2019. And... I weighed at that time 335 pounds or so, 350, whatever. Now I weigh about 150, you know, so I lost 200. And I am very healthy. I have more energy than I've ever had in my life. I'm 40 years old. I have a master's degree because I also wanted someone with education. I am very healthy, fit. I take no pills, not even aspirin. No, that means no psych drugs, no no weed, no cigarettes. I quit cigarettes about 13 years ago. I quit drugs and alcohol. It'll be 12 years, December 23rd, on the day my grandma died, but she died in 2016. And let's see. And yeah, and now I'm living the dream, making my music in California. So I want someone who loves the Lord. That's another thing. So as soon as I started embodying the things that I wanted in life, in a, in a man, then I started attracting better men. And there was a point too where I realized that, you know, I just, I don't want to force anything. And I started meeting all these guys and they tried to go out with me and stuff. And I did go on in some dates and I did have some very short relationships. But some of the guys were great. They were, you know, but they just don't believe in themselves. And it was, it's hard to be with someone that insecure because it was kind of looking at my old self where the person's very needy and, the, and a person like that that doesn't feel they're worthy, they cannot uh, give me what I need, you know, because they're always trying to take. And so, like I said, I, I told myself that I'm worth it, got rid of this guy who's hitting me and all these things. And so I think, actually thank God that I was with him because if I hadn't been with him, I wouldn't have realized how much of work that I needed to do on myself. You know, so I just, every day I just continue to say that I'm worth it. I am infinite in value. I think that's the most important thing. That's where you need to start is start with your words. I am infinite in value. I'm worth it. When you want to go to the gym, but you're, you're or when you don't want to go to the gym, but you're like, man, I really want to lose this weight. Tell yourself, I'm worth it. You want to go and you're eating and you're like, oh man, I'm eating all this chocolate. Like, I do this sometimes still too. I binge on chocolate sometimes. And so, but just tell yourself, no, I don't need it. I'm worth it. I'm going to eat a pear instead. Or I'm going to eat a banana. Or I'm going to eat some uh, cucumbers or whatever, some greens. You know, just say, hey, I'm worth it. You know, and start now. Start now and just be consistent with who you are. And, you know, write it down. Tell yourself who you are, not who you want to be. You know, not who you think you are now, but who you really are and who you want to be in the future. You know, Abraham Lincoln said, the best way to predict the future is to plan it, you know, and so that's what I've been doing, and I'm still planning, and I'm still doing it, I'm still carrying out and executing, you know, because I know I'm worth it, I'm infinite in value, and by the way, not only are you infinite in value, you have unlimited 
infinite options in this in this world, okay? And so I met so many guys, and I'm like, oh man, I met some really great guys. But then I was like, you know what? I don't I don't think I want to commit right now because there's so many good men out there. I haven't met enough guys, you know. So I don't get feel like, oh, this guy's so great. I don't want to lose him. I just think, you know what? If he walks away from me, that's okay. He's not the man that I thought he was. He doesn't appreciate me, and maybe because he doesn't appreciate himself. But you know something? I have unlimited options. And there's millions of great men out there just waiting to meet me. You know? So tell yourself that too. Don't ever have the fear because the fear makes you become needy. Fear is the opposite of love. So just know that you are infinite in value and you are infinite in options. Okay? If you want to have the one, you'll automatically attract them by becoming the one. Okay? Like I said, the best way to predict the future is to plan it. So start planning it and start executing on it, okay? Because you are worth it.